Yesterday afternoon, Lewis faced Monroe in sand volleyball, Kanawa faced Randolph in court volleyball, and Marion took on Upshur and Harrison in frisbee. <clears throat> Braxton faced Panhandle in softball, Webster and Barber and Gilmer and Calhoun faced off in basketball. Today, Webster and Barber faced Panhandle in sand volleyball, Randolph faced Lewis in court volleyball, Monroe took on Braxton in frisbee, and Upshur and Harrison and Gilmer and Calhoun faced in softball. Kanawa faced Marion in. Today, in front of the Southeastern Learning Center, one convict has escaped from custody. Inmate Jemo Smith escaped by hopping the fence. Uh, I'm Nika Viscardo. I'm the warden here at the Boys State Corrections Facility. As you can see behind me, due to the construction, there was a breach in the fence, and that's how the inmate escaped. And we are cur we've currently fixed the problem, but Boys State Corrections always gets their man. I don't care how many holes are in our fence. I don't care how many people are not doing what they're supposed to do. When it comes down to crunch time, oh, we get them. We get the job done. I then sat down with him for a one-on-one -on -one interview. Uh, so why did you escape corrections? Because it's boring in here. There's nothing to do. It's whack. All these ugly officers just keep staring at me. <laughs> uh, do you are your conditions here, are they good conditions or poor conditions? <laughs> no, they're not, they're not good conditions in here. We don't even have a, a toilet. And especially in there, it's hell in here. It's hell. Uh, have you learned from the crime you've committed? No, not at all. Uh, I'll if, do if it, it again. Is it too much if I ask you what crime did you commit? Um, I assaulted a cat. Um, what's your sentence? Fifteen minutes. Oh, brother. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, brother. Well, thank you for the interview. It's very nice to meet no you. Problem. Jomo has finished his sentence and is now walking as a free man. You're a free man, Jomo. Yes, I am. Free man. He was a free man. Oh, well. I mean, I've only been a free man for five minutes, but, you know, plan on doing something good with my life. Hopefully, I might assault a dog next time. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, I'm here with one of the firefighters here at the uh, firefighting simulations and trainings. Uh, how's your day been going? Pretty good. Pretty good? good time, yeah. All right, so first off, give us a little explanation about what you were doing in there. All right, so uh, what we started out with after we went through 
This is our basic rundown mm -hmm. of what we're doing today. Uh, we geared up on the side of that building right there and they put us through the smoke simulation. We went in with a buddy of ours, we paired up, and we had to find our way through the building. It was dark, it was smoky, and it was cramped. We had to get on the ground. A little hot. Yeah, very hot. <laughs> and we had to uh, crawl through, find a way around, and get out. Alright, now what so, about this one? What do, you, what do you have to do here? So, um, as you can see, actually, if, if you put the camera right there, you can see that they're gonna make the uh, car appear to be on fire. And then, again, uh, some hairs will go through, get the hose, put the fire out in the proper way, and we're just gonna cycle through that. Alright, okay, thank you very much. Have a good rest of the day. Thank you, you too. Hey guys, I'm on scene at this protest in front of the Mountaineer Boys State Bank. What are you guys protesting for? What we're protesting is the ability for a city within a cabin, our own county of Braxton, right over there, the ability to tax their own citizens wherever they pass their levy. They passed with 100%. This levy would it be to employ sanitation officers, so that way it would be better serving our community. What does this motion mean, sir? This motion is the T-pose. This T-Post is meant to strike out against the bank, which is attempting to destroy our own sovereignty within our city and cabin. You heard it here, guys. So, if you saw the protests, join them or against them. Hey guys, so we're back on site of the protests and it's been approximately five minutes since my last checkup and now the, counts, the uh, Braxton. Braxton County Cottage is now suing the Mountaineer Boy State Bank. So this is our attorney, Enrique. Enrique Herrera, hey, how's it going? Prosecuting attorney at law. Passed my bar exam, so I'm qualified. So he's uh, their attorney. Now, why are you, have you, why have you decided to sue the bank? So I have not decided to sue the bank, but I've decided to actually represent Braxton County. Braxton County feels that they have been unconstitutionally uh, misrepresented, especially from this bank. Not just the bank, but possibly even the government out. itself. So I feel that justice needs to be served, and. Uh, we plan, on, we plan on serving justice. Okay guys, so we'll catch up. We're gonna go catch up with the bank and we'll see you in a minute. Hey guys, so we're here with uh, Matthew, who's uh, a part of the West Virginia Boy State Bank and we're getting their side of the story. So what do you have to say about this, Matthew? Well, um, so they wanna get their cabin clean and uh, I think that the amount of work that they're putting into the protests, uh, half of that will clean up the cabin, so. That's, that's my opinion on things. So, you heard it here, you've heard both sides of the stories. Who do you side with, either the protesters of Braxton County or the bank? Now, Matthew, here he is from Braxton County, so we're gonna see what plays out and we'll catch up with you as soon as we can. SoundCloud rapper Bonefish's trial was today, held at the West Virginia building. The prosecution claimed that Bonefish left campaign materials up past the deadline to take them down. In the end, the jury claimed Bonefish was guilty. Bonefish's sentence was to sing Men of Tomorrow in front of the whole courtroom, plus 15 minutes in corrections. I then got to talk to Bonefish on his way to corrections. How do you feel about the jury's decision? I feel that the jury's decision is not correct. Uh, I don't think they took into account that the sign was indeed red. And as you may know, at headquarters, the, very, the ladies are very strict about what color of paper you can buy. I was denied red paper and given white and blue paper. How do you feel about, how do you feel about the protesters outside the courtroom? Uh, I feel like those protesters will always have my back. They're fellow Marion cottagers. And they know the right from wrong. Okay, thank you, buddy. We hope to see a song about Bonefish's time in the slammer. Hopefully, he learned his lesson. If it doesn't work, we'll take it out. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Friday edition of the Boy State News. My name is Mike, and we have a lot of important news today. First topic we're going to cover is Man on the Street with Jacob and Nick. Take a look. <laughs> 